Balaam was a prophet about the time that Moses was coming through. And every now and again, God would speak to him and tell him what to say and do. He had a reputation in all those parts for being on the line to power. And when Moab's king heard Moses was coming, he called him in his needy hour. He said, Balaam, come and curse these Israelites. If you do, I believe I could beat them in a fight. But when Balaam asked the Lord, the Lord said, Balaam, don't you go. Israel is blessed by me, don't you go mess up my show. But Balaam's head was turned by the money he could earn. So he saddled up his donkey anyway. Balaam and his servants hurried off for the king of Moab's castle. But they hadn't gone very far down the road when the whole trip became a hassle. Because the donkey ran off across a field and she nearly broke Balaam's ankle. But when she lay right down and wouldn't get up, Balaam got a little more than rankled. And for the third time, Balaam beat her with his cane. But that donkey just refused to move again. It was the thing that happened next, though, that made Balaam's knees get weak. Well, that donkey still would not get up, but she began to speak. She said, Balaam, you're to blame. The way you beat me is a shame. Cause all I've done is try to save your life. Then the angel of the Lord appeared with a flaming sword in his hand. Balaam fell down on his face, a very frightened man. The angel said, Balaam, you'd be dead if your donkey hadn't detected that I was waiting there to part your hair when you and my sword connected. And Balaam then repented for his sin. And he promised not to act like that again. And I hope he learned his lesson about God's reward for greed. But you know it's that talking donkey that's really strange indeed. And that donkey's just a donkey, but she's still the thing God used. And that's the point I want you all to see. The Lord's the one who makes the choice of the instrument he's using. We don't know the reasons and the plans behind his choosing. So when the Lord starts using you, don't you pay it any mind. He could have used the dog next door if he'd been so inclined.